don't think there's any way to get around the fact that um, these are high-risk visits. With the holiday season fast approaching, long-term care providers are anticipating how to handle residents going to family gatherings. Under Phase 3, non-medical trips are permitted based on risk of activities. The state's Department of Health and Human Services says a number of factors make these visits high risk and quarantining upon return is the best option. Hugging, touching, closed spaces. Um, family members probably have traveled from elsewhere. Um, it's, it, I can imagine it's going to be a big burden for, for us all, um, but, but there's no way around that the safest approach here is to quarantine on return. And that quarantine is recommended even if the resident tests negative for COVID-19. You can't test out of quarantine because you might come down with contagious active disease on day 13 and a half, even if your test was negative at day seven. Providers are also wondering when is the best time to administer the flu shot to residents. DHHS says even though the flu has not yet been reported in the state, now is the time to get the vaccination. We are preparing for you know, flu to be co-circulating with COVID-19, and that uh, certainly increases the imports of people getting the flu vaccine. And again, you know, the recommendation is um, at, 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 at latest by the end of October. DHHS says you can still get the flu vaccine after October if needed. Another provider asked about expanding communal dining and activities. State health officials did not have a timetable for that right now. In Manchester, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.